I saw Priscilla on my lunch break, working at Big Boys, Dad said on the phone. She asked about you. She wanted to see your picture. I hadn't seen Priscilla since I lived in Columbus, since fifth grade. The neighborhood where I grew up had a known gang house, five houses down from mine. Priscilla lived there, and Dad knew we were friends. Lisa, you can invite Priscilla over to our house, but you are for no reason allowed to go inside hers, not even her front yard, not even once. Okay, Dad. Dad didn't make rules for no reason. Later that year, my fifth grade teacher said, Everybody, come on over here to the window. I want you to see these kids. I knew it must be important. She never interrupted us when we were working. We saw four older boys wearing gang rags. I watched Mrs. McCain looking out. She knew them. I don't want to see any of you out there with them. One student replied, We won't, Mrs. McCain. Show me, she said. The weight of that challenge reminded me of the day my friend took me on her bicycle handlebars to visit her older crush. He invited us in, and we walked to his room. He shut the door. He asked me, What's your name? How old are you? I thought he seemed nice. He walked to his dresser, opened the door, pulled out something covered in a white hotel towel, then took off the towel and began to polish. He opened the chamber, looked inside. I tried to be cool. I thought about running outside. I was frozen. He shoved the gun in his right sock and we all left together. We walked past his mom. I screamed inside for her to say something. She didn't. I went home. It was getting dark. I thought about telling Dad all of this, but instead, I thanked him for calling and went back to work.